Hey guys, Simon here with Caddis Fly Shop and Oregon Fly Fishing Blog, and today I have a borderline unfair fly here that I've been using. It's been working really well locally. Um, white fish have been spawning, so um, you know there's eggs blowing around the system. The trout are getting ready to spawn, so they have eaten eggs on the mine for sure, and it is being shown when using something like this. Um, I'll give you guys a closer look and show you exactly uh, what makes it so good. So looking closely at this now, um, this is the Foley Mill uh, 5125 Jig 4 Short. Um, so the eyelet is not, uh, you know, you can't see the eyelet here like on a normal jig hook. It's rotated to the side. Uh, and there's a different bend which allows the bead to get pushed really far forward and you can fit a very large bead on it. And it's very Euro style, um, large, large wide gap, very sticky. Um, this is a new product from Hairline called Microflex Soft Hackle Chenille. Um, this is used on a, a, a crab we do here, um, but this is the extra small size and it's great for eggs. You could probably bump one size up and do steelhead eggs or larger eggs for trout. Um, and then this is just a uh, flash of boot for the back, uh, for the pretty gown part. A little bit of resin. Okay, so looking at this, um, Hook here, this is the Jig 4 Short 5125. It is a 45 degree bend, 2x wide, 2x short, um, with a very you know wide gap uh, and this upturned point. They call it the claw point. Um, but that's the hook, it's a size 14 from Fulling Mill 5125. This bead is a um, slotted tungsten bead, 530 seconds or 3.8 millimeter. This is metallic light pink. Um, from Hairline. It's a nice color. Um, I like these metallic colored ones because they don't really chip as much on the bottom. Um, if you're bouncing around down there, the, the color lasts a lot longer. Um, this thread I'm using here is Semperfly Nano Silk 50 Denier in pink. Makes a great color for eggs. And you don't need a lot for this egg. Um, less is more for this for sure. And so. Um, we're tying in a little bit of that uh, nano silk, and then here is some Flashaboo Magnum, uh, is what this is, in pearl. And so we're just going to take wraps to the back of this. We don't need to build up a large body at all. Um, and then we will just wind this tinsel pretty much all the way up to the front. Uh, I use Magnum stuff just because you have to work less hard to get it to uh, wrap. But now you're done with the Pertigan body. Easy. So we're going to take just a little bit of Solar's Bone Dry right here. Just enough to coat this and uh, kind of, you don't want too much extra so I'm just going to kind of spread it around a little bit if you need to. Take your paper towel and dab any excess off you can. We don't need a lot. This is just to coat this tinsel just to uh, ensure it does not come unraveled. Um, if you wrap it tight, it probably won't, but this is just extra durability and peace of mind. Last step, Microflex Soft Hackle Chenille Extra Small Salmon Pink. Um, this stuff's pretty crazy. It's all rubber. It um, looks really cool. It's not really going to change shape or color when it gets in the water because it's all synthetic. But it's really cool. Um, I have been smashing fish on it. Like I said, it's almost unfair. I, I feel kind of guilty using this. But there's eggs in the system and uh, the fish are eating them. So it's working great. So we're going to tie, take a small, small section, not a lot. Um, we're going to wrap it back to about here. You're going to want to crank down on it right now. Because when you palmer it, you don't want it to start slipping. Um, that's only how much you need to make this egg. So you're just going to palmer through there, done. So about three wraps, one, and with each wrap you're going to want to pull these extra fibers back, two, and get that bead locked all the way forward, three, and that's how you tie the purdy egg. And uh, we'll snip the extra if you want. You can kind of trim it up and make it look even more egg-like. This one actually turned out pretty good, so I'm probably just going to leave it. Um, also, if fish see something that looks kind of like an egg, they're 
probably going to eat it. It doesn't need to be perfectly round. Um, but we're going to take a couple more wraps to lock that in up there. And then we will whip finish. And then I'll lock the thread wraps in up here with some UV resin. And we'll call it good. It's ready to fish. Um, yeah, this fly, you know, especially in the spring, it's really good. Uh, winter time. Uh, Any time where you need to, there's eggs around and the fish are eating it, you know, something like this will work. Uh, the chenille also comes in several, several different colors, which is pretty cool. Um, but, uh, you know, it works really great. It's really effective fly. Um, it's really bright in the water, too. So uh, it's a great attractor fly. Pair it with something heavy, fish it with something light. If the flows are low and clear, um, whatever you need to catch fish, this will do it in a variety of scenarios, and it's the perfect time to use it right now. So this is the Purdy Egg. Uh, you can read more about it at OregonFlyFishingBlog.com, and you can order everything at CaddisFlyShop.com. Thanks, guys.